Hello there. Tidings from the Queen and the British Empire. Today we have Samuel Adams' Boston Lager. Something I don't recommend because it's American. Like most of the beers we have, I don't recommend. But we'll do it anyway because of my good pal here. How you doing? Welcome back. We're going to talk about the presentation. Amen, brother. First off, bottle. Like the way it is, a little shiny. A guy like me might like a little shiny. Catches my attention, draws me in. How you feel about it, chap? Yeah, I like shiny. Um, the queen wears a shiny crown, right? So I like a shiny bottle. It's quite brown, kind of like, um, what's that American beer called? It's, it's... Kind of like a Coors, but not really. It's fucking hot! Indeed. Continue, but, uh, friend! It, yes, I will. I was going to. <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of like a Coors, but not quite, because it has here... Sam Adams on it. His signature. Isn't that wonderful? That's kind of cool, you ask me. One thing I noticed right about the beer, a little pitcher on top. Guys having fun. I might want to drink it and have a little fun. Lord, I hope so. By the way, just to let y'all know, we only got one. Try it out, because Chappie here don't like it. I don't know if I like it yet or not. One because... second! <laughs> okay. Let's pull this. What do you say we do this? Cap. Not much to it. Little blue, little red, Boston Lager, Samuel Adams. Not a lot. Little lesson on how to pull your beer. Lagers, I, I typically, you know, like we stated before, are best enjoyed from the bottle. But we're going to do it in a cup. Because we're fucking gangster like that. Oh, chap here thinks it's hard. <laughs> now, he don't know how to pour a beer. Chappie here is used to rim temperature. Sorry. Now we gotta wait for the head to go down before Fuck, we no, try. No, you don't. The head is the most flavorful part, you fucking. Oh, excuse me. I don't like drinking foam. Now that, that's a good, good head for a lager. Ha! Changed his mind real fucking quick. Kind of smells something similar to a, to a crisp winter day. It's kind of oaky, not the, you know, not the, you're fucking oaky, or whatever they try to say. You know, I don't know how it works, but I'm not from this fucking country. What would you say the smell reminded you of? Um, of, of wood. Wood. Wood, maybe with, uh, some beer. <laughs> maybe well, aren't you maybe fucking like, clever? Well, I've to me, it. brings back a memory of the childhood. Coming out the trailer park, we had a lot of trees around us. And what it said to me is oak. Nice oak. That ain't half bad. It's a nice light. Not heavy. Very enjoyable. It's got a nice brown tint. Let you know a little bit extra is there. It's a good beer. I'm used to Coors. It is, no, it's quite delicious. It, um, it's more than just a regular lager. Better than, I'd say, all of the lagers I've ever had. It's quite hoppy. Um, it's got a nice, it's sort of sweet. It's got a slightly caramel uh, note to it. It's, it's quite delicious, actually. A lot of beers don't have a good aftertaste. I believe this one does. Kind of has a real... Hanging around in your mouth kind of thing. I believe something like this would go good with maybe a cigarette or a cigar. But then again, let's talk about what it complements. I think it would go quite well uh, with fish. Fish of, of many sorts. Um... Kind of like a catfish. I'd like to go noodling and catch a catfish. You like catfish, Chappie? I love catfish. They don't go meow, but they're good with Samuel Adams Boston Lager, I believe. All right, once again, thank you for joining Bear Minute. Y'all have a good week. Make sure to tune back in next week, as well as leave a comment on the page on YouTube. Let us know what kind of beers you want us to try, and we'll make sure to get to it. Farewell, we'll see you next time.